The US equity benchmark fell 6% in the first week this year. The shares, which were the best last year, such as Netflix and Amazon, were hammered down. But it's not only about individual shares, it's the market overall. So the indices, which are closest to the consumer, such as consumer discretionary, is in the red. And this basically gives a lot of food for thought to analysts. Up to 50% today believe that we will have a recession. We do not share this view. The US has seen many headwinds recently. The US dollar has appreciated roughly by 20% over the last two years against major currencies such as the Euro and the Japanese Yen. It has appreciated by 8% against the renminbi as well. So corporates have decreased their profitability. Two years ago we saw profitability margins at 14% and now we see them at 12%. If that was not enough, we have seen also major disruptions because of falling oil prices. Oil prices have come down between 70 and 80%. A major US oil concern see a drop in their earnings. As a consequence, roughly about 250 billion in investment projects have been canceled or put on hold. Now this cannot be good for the US economy. It's not all doom and gloom. The US has been extremely successful in creating jobs and bringing down unemployment to 5%. Actually, about 120,000 new jobs, net of demands, are created on a monthly basis. This is very reinsuring for the consumer. In addition, housing prices and housing starts are roughly 15% below the long-term average. Again, here we might see some more upside in the future. The consumer on the other side has been slightly more cautious because when we look at the savings rate, the long-term average has been about 3% and currently the savings rate is more closer to 5%. Nevertheless, car sales have been phenomenal last year in 2015. We have seen the highest car sales in the US for the last 15 years. The US has been expanding for the last seven years and many analysts start to feel that it is time to call for a recession. Now it's true that the disruption in oil prices and the subsequent fall will probably deduct up to 1% of GDP in the US. However, this said, this is something which we will see and feel today and tomorrow. In the mid and short term, the consumer definitely will profit from that. Let's not forget that US companies have roughly 1.2 trillion of cash on their balance sheets. And if we see a softer fourth quarter, 2015, this is probably due to very high inventory levels. It's not because the consumer doesn't intend to consume anymore. We have seen in 2015 a US economic growth which is between 2 and 2.6%. Now, we strongly believe that the backbone of the US economy today is housing and the US consumer. Both will help to propel this economy ahead. However, taking into consideration the pitfalls, we do believe that we will see not a similar growth than what we have seen in 2015. We see a weaker growth this year. However, we cannot see a recession at this moment.